sustain the intelligence to engage and even release the spiritual forces that have been allocated for your victory are we together I wrote down a few of them here and I want you to listen very carefully number one the force of light there are many spiritual forces that have been given to the believer that when you do business for want of word with these forces the result is that your life becomes invincible even a sign and a wonder the first force that is given to the believer to help your overall excelling is the force of light isaiah 60 and verse 1 it says arise shine for your light is come arise shine for your light is come arise shine for your light is come that means remain on the ground and remain defeated and inactive because of the bankruptcy of your light you arise and shine only when your light comes john chapter 1 and verse 5 the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not say the force of light number two for sake of time is the force of prayer the second spiritual force that is given to the believer to help us manifest the promises of God. Listen carefully. The force of prayer. Mark 11, 23 and 24. Mark 11, 23 and 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass the bible leaves that believer with an assurance that he shall have whatsoever he saith 24 it says therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray not if you pray when ye pray believe that ye receive them and thou shall have them the force of prayer number three the force of fasting there are many of them i just put a few of them together to be able to show you that if your life is bankrupt of the manifestation of the promises of god it will be that you have not engaged one or more or even all of these promises the force of fasting Jesus himself fasted and prayed. The disciples who would later become apostles fasted and prayed. Fasting happened in the New Testament. It happened in the Old Testament. Are we together? There is power that is released while we fast. Number four, the force of faith. The force of faith. First John chapter 5 and verse 4, it says... This is the victory, whatsoever is born of God. 1 John 5, 4, it says, Overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Even our faith. Even our faith. The force of faith. It says, when he was teaching about the whole armor of God, remember? In Ephesians chapter 6, I believe, Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus and he was teaching them to put the whole armor of God and he calls faith a shield wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil. The force of faith. Every time Jesus was helping the disciples to reveal to them why they did not have some things happen in their life he would usually trace it to the issue of unbelief why couldn't we do this in fact when peter came when the devil came to manipulate peter jesus rebukes the spirit and says get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan has desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted, he says, strengthen your brethren. The force of faith. Are we still together? Number five, very quickly, the force of praise. The force of praise. Psalm 67 from verse 5 and 6. These are spiritual forces, mysteriously powerful, that help the saints to transport the promises of God from the prophetic dimension 
into the experiential dimension. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Verse 6, it says, Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Praise. That mysterious weapon. There are people who have held on to praise alone, and with it they have, they have commanded tremendous levels of victory. Is someone learning? A quick recap, spiritual forces that help believers to walk in dominion, manifesting the promises that have been given to the saints. The force of light, the force of prayer, the force of fasting, the force of faith, the force of faith. Number six, the force of favor. The force of favor very powerful mysterious spiritual force that can help men to maximize life and maximize destiny i was preaching for a dear precious pastor friend yesterday and we had an opportunity to discuss a bit on favor and it dawned on me again i have taught this for all my life and yet i never get tired of teaching on favor because my life is a product of the favor of god The force of favor where God compels men and compels systems to respond favorably favorably showing you unusual kindness giving you unusual access and commanding towards you unusual acceptance these are the tripartite indices that measure the presence of favor one more time let me repeat it the presence of unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance when these tripartite manifestations happen in your life you are favored indeed walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost i am favored i am walking in abundance Moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost, I am favored. The force of favor. Listen, do you know? Not the six that have listed alone. There are people who have zero over six working in their life. How, for God's sake, using spiritual intelligence that you have now, how do you expect to walk and live in dominion, not understanding the force of light, the all-surpassing supremacy of light over darkness, the force of prayer, the force of fasting, the force of faith, the force of praise. Imagine with me, with what you know now, a man's spiritual life without these forces working. Number seven, the force of sacrifice. These are the spiritual forces that control the arrival and the manifestation of the promises of God that the Bible says are yea and amen. The force of sacrifice. Psalm 50 and verse 5, it says, Gather unto me my saints, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Sacrifice is a powerful and a deep mystery. A mystery that is practiced by both believers and even people who are unbelievers. Sacrifice is powerful. The Bible is, is full of stories, instances where men and women engage this mysterious force and they rewrote narratives over their lives. It was even this force that was engaged when God wanted to redeem man. He had to give his only begotten son. The force of sacrifice. Can I give you two more? Eight, the force of patience. Hmm. Patience is a deep, mysterious and powerful spiritual force. The Bible says to follow them who through faith and patience. Patience is so important, it is one of the fruit of the Spirit. There are many people who have been cheated out of life because of impatience. Patience is powerful. Hallelujah. 
I've given you eight. Let me give you one more. The force of the prophetic. The force of the prophetic. The force of the prophetic. This is so powerful. The force of the prophetic. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. Hosea 12 and verse 13. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. It was the Lord that brought them. But he used the prophetic. Now, imagine, describe for me using your imagination, ladies and gentlemen, a believer who has fully activated the force of light plus the force of prayer plus the force of fasting plus the force of faith plus the force of praise can i continue plus the force of favor plus the force of sacrifice plus the force of patience plus the force of the prophetic i will describe for you what that kind of believer will look like joshua 21 from verse 41 43 to 45 that is the kind of testimony that such a believer would have in this case all the cities of the levites 43 please 43 43 and the lord gave unto israel all the land which he swore to give their fathers and they possessed it the Lord gave them, but it did not mean they possessed it. Take note. The Lord gave them the land that he swore to their fathers. But whether they possessed it or not was their own responsibility. It was possible that they would die without possessing it. And God would still say, I have given it to you. The Bible says they possessed it and dwelt therein. 44. And the Lord gave unto them rest round about prophesy to your life rest round about one more time rest round about that inevitably will be the testimony of one who understands how to engage these forces there are still a few more but let me tell you these are the major forces that control triumph and dominion in this kingdom the force of light light me lord Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me. For some of you, you have one over nine. Well done for finding the one. But it's not enough as far as the testimony you desire. Even in mathematics, one over nine is F. Is that true? There is need for an upgrade. Apostle, all I do is to fast. Congratulations. But that is not the only force. Apostle, all I do is to pray. Congratulations. There are other forces. These forces are not this. You are not supposed to pan pick anyone that you feel is convenient the forces have been allocated for your holistic victory the challenge with believers is they pick the one that they are mentored to appreciate while ignoring others if you are part of a prayer and a prophetic ministry chances are excellent that you will pick the force of fasting alongside the force of favor add the prophetic to it and ignore the force of light ignore the force of praise even ignore the force of patience and sacrifice if god has granted you grace and you are being mentored by a strong teaching ministry chances are excellent that you will embrace the force of light and others like the force of praise and even the force of faith and then ignore others this is already a sound message for someone tonight. In the kingdom, you are not given the liberty to pick which forces you feel you like. All of them have exact roles that they play as far as helping you manifest the promises of God is concerned. The force of light, the force of prayer, warding of the arsenals of darkness, the force of fasting, 
building up your spirit and your capacity to be discerning and to be receptive the force of faith helping you to be able to connect to the power of God that is the biblical assignment of faith to help you faith is like a host I would always say that connects you from the point where the concern is to where the power of God resides if you want to water a garden and there is a tap that is running even though that tap has an endless supply of water it may not be able to reach your garden is that true and so you go and look for a host and connect it sometimes it will be a very long host connecting it from the tap to where that garden is and the moment you open up the tap you find out that is watering your plant that's the assignment of faith faith connects you to the power of God faith connects the problem to the power of God so if you do not build your faith, it will be like a small host. You want to stretch it that far to reach your garden. But because you have not elongated and enlarged that host, in the Bible, there are all kinds of, and all dimensions of faith. There is no faith or zero faith. There is little faith as taught in scripture. There is great faith. There is exceeding great faith. It's up to you to choose where you want your faith to be. The force of praise, the force of favor, the force of sacrifice. Praise is very powerful, for instance. As powerful as John the Baptist was coming in the spirit and the power of Elijah, a lady danced his head out of his body. She danced to the point that the king made a request and said, For dancing and making me excited, say anything you want, I will give you to the half of my kingdom. Now, I took out time to do a little research to write the various needs of men. I wrote a few and I want you to listen. I have 